post-workout video, yeah. Well, it's mildly after post-workout because I was trying to find an article that I um, had typed up a really amazing post about and was referring to the article because um, I was just summarizing it and putting in my own thoughts and feelings and own life experiences where I'm like, oh yeah, I've seen these things happen. And I, and when I went to hit post, it disappeared. Um, and I swear I had that somewhere. I couldn't find it though, because right now, apparently Google is trying to redirect me. It was making suggestions on things that were adjacent to what I was looking for, but not what I was looking for. Weird, weird how that's happening. Um, so what was I looking for? Um, it had everything to do with our cell regeneration. So a lot of our cells in our bodies um, are constantly dying and being replaced with new cells. Um, and some are at faster rates than others, like our skin and our hair is faster than say like our liver. Um, and that stuff I was able to find information on. But here was the thing. And I guess you really don't need to find information on this. I mean, it's kind of no duh once you actually stop and think about it. But we literally are what we eat because it's not like our cells just pull shit out of the air. Our bodies don't just pull shit out of the air and go, I am manifesting a new skin cell. I am manifesting more hair. It's building that shit from what we eat. So <laughs> we literally are what we eat. And um, overall, it takes seven to 10 years for a whole new person to be created. So every decade, a whole new person. And if we are filling this wonderful temple with tons of shit, that is what we are giving our body to build, rebuild itself with. So it's like the three little pigs. You can build it with straw, you can build it with sticks, or you can build that shit with bricks. So, <laughs> healthy eating. And here's a great thing about it. A lot of people feel like they can't, they can't change how they eat because, like, I don't want to change. It's, it's a lot of work. Um, there's a lot of foods I don't like. Um, here is the dealioso. I'll tell you a secret. You don't have to do everything. You don't have to do it all right away. You don't, I didn't, I did not. In 2011, when the flip, the switch flipped in my head where I was tired of buying fatter and fatter clothes, getting winded going upstairs at the age of freaking, what age was I? It's like, what was happening? It was a while ago. So what, I was in my late 20s, early 30s. I was I was out of breath going upstairs, okay? A short flight of stairs, I had to stop, and I would pause. Okay, when I was going to Stout, let us rewind way further back. When I was going to Stout in my 20s, I had my backpack, and I'd be going up the stairs, and barely can make it to that landing that you, you walk around to get to the next flight. I would, uh, I would have to stop. I would have to tie my, I would have to fix my shoelace because my shoe was like, it was loose, dude. I had to fix the shoelace. It really wasn't. It was just my way of covering up the fact that I was out of breath and tired. I was in my 20s. Pretty sad. Anyways, fast forward. Um, switch flipped. Did I know what I was doing? Hell no, I didn't know what I was doing. Did I do everything right? Definitely not. I was like, 90% wrong on everything that I did and most of the 10% that was right was the fact that I just started doing something about it so and I didn't just start doing something and just keep going with it I was analytical about things and I stayed aware of like how things were affecting me so that I would be able to see like which direction to go and like say you're just going for a random walk in some random woods and there's lots of different trails, you know, you just kind of like, hey, that one looks kind of neater or, you know, whatever, right? It's really bad. But, and as I went, I started to learn more and more about myself and things that work better for me. 
and luckily I had joined Beachbody in 2012 and shortly after they started um, forming these amazing nutrition programs that helped me understand um, the importance of not just counting calories because that's all I did. I counted calories and it didn't matter what kind of calories I was counting as long as I was burning, I was had a deficit, like more going out than coming in to burn the fat that was on my body. It didn't matter how I was burning the fat, it didn't matter how I was eating. So I was earning Big Macs on my elliptical machine and I lost a lot of weight. I switched stress, I went from stress eating and stress smoking to just stress smoking. <laughs> and I lost a lot of weight very quickly. It was great, I was so happy. I felt like shit still. Crazy, right? Well, no wonder why. Because I had a double door cupboard loaded with Little Debbie snacks and, and honey buns and zebra cakes, all the shit. Cosmic brownies, that was what we had. A whole thing. And we ate that all the time. I had Diet Dr. Pepper in the bottom of my fridge and was eating, mind you, eating Big Macs at McDonald's and eating the Burger King. But hey, at least I walked the five blocks that it was to get there, right? So, just start. And gradually, I've gone from that person to now, 2021, I like to eat kale, Greek yogurt. I actually can cook. Ask anybody that knew me like 20 years ago and they'll be like, <laughs> like I could do breakfast. Breakfast I was pretty good at, but really I could not really cook. I had, if it didn't come from a directional box or frozen, I could just throw it in the oven. It just wasn't happening. Now I've got a cupboard loaded with spices. I love to make stuff from home. And one of the main reasons is, remember I said I stayed aware of how things helped me feel. And one thing that I started noticing, especially after I had been drinking Shakeology for a long, for like, I'd say within six months into like drinking Shakeology, I really started noticing the, the, the difference. I started noticing that my taste buds actually were starting to prefer um, healthier foods and the uh, less healthy foods didn't seem to have as much appeal to me. I stopped craving soda um, and, um, and as things progressed, I started to see how I actually feel better eating healthier and drinking water. Um, I was not a water drinker. I started off with like the Walmart flavored waters just to get more water in me, especially when it was not summertime when it was hot. And, oh, um, it's just been a gradual thing. And to, to be quite frank, I feel way more kick-ass now that I'm 42 than back when I was 22. And I'm in way better shape. Um, but it didn't happen overnight. I didn't wake up one morning and go, hmm, I feel like eating some kale in my eggs. No, that shit did happen. Did not happen overnight. But it happened with gradual changes. And I've definitely noticed so much of a difference between um, eating at a restaurant as opposed to making it at home and eating it, eating the food. Because at the restaurants, they throw assholes of sodium into stuff. And one problem that I've had is my joints and my body overall, but my, my body will bloat and my joints get really sore, especially I have my ankles and my knees. Super special. Like they get really, really sore. So I tend to kind of lay low on eating out because I know for a fact that if I do that too often, I hurt. Um, I also tend to stay away from things with soy in them because if I don't, I get really bad gas. And I don't like that. It's not comfortable and it stinks. So, um, and guess what? Now, I barely ever get sick. And I used to be sick all the time. But I wasn't giving my body the things that it needed in order to stay healthy. I wasn't feeding it the, the building blocks that it needed to make a brick house. I wasn't exercising it. I wasn't building muscle with, with weights and doing body weight exercises and working on my mobility and my stability so that I'm able to move without hurting myself doing regular things like carrying groceries in the house or 
mopping something or cleaning up a mess. Um, I didn't have the improved immune system. Well, I don't know if that's the right word I'm looking for, but our lymphatic system does not cycle itself. Not like our cardiovascular system or anything like that. It does not cycle itself. It actually has to be milked by our muscles. So in order to do that, um, we need to be in motion, be doing stuff. And then that keeps our lymphatic system good and healthy. You think I'm talking on my ass? Look this shit up. And I will guarantee you, you'll find it because I've learned a lot of this stuff over the years and I learned, um, and much of it was emphasized while I was taking exercise science courses um, to get my, my associate's degree in exercise science. So, um, and it really opened my eyes to the, how it's so much more than just having a beach body. It's about having a healthy lifestyle where you feel good when you wake up in the morning, where you're not sick all the damn time, wondering why you feel like shit all the time. Well, um, it's, it's all about just feeling better. And when you're feeling better, you tend to be in a better place, which in, which in which case leads to you being pleasant for other people to be around, which then helps maybe make them feel a little bit better about some stuff. And it just makes the environment a ha happier place. So yeah, let's get a little touchy-feely about that right now. It's true. So it's like, I really do love that part where <laughs> in Legally Bond where she's like, exercise creates endorphins. Endorphins make you happy, and happy people just don't kill their husbands. <laughs> There's a lot of truth in that statement. Um, so, not only is exercise and nutrition good for your physical, your physical, it, here, I'm just going to list off things that it's good for. It's good for your physical health, your medical health, your emotional health, and your spiritual health. Because it feeds in it feeds all of those things um, and a lot of the times it's hard I know I know it's hard we we are busy we have too much of this going on or we're just overwhelmed trust me I am like the queen of overwhelm it's overwhelm is like my my own personal crack is is overwhelm like I just dive right into that shit and roll around in it let's be overwhelmed totally all me like the circumstances are, are, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The circumstances are not anything that's good, bad, evil, whatever. But I just let myself be overwhelmed. Um, and so, I understand that. But there is ways to start. It, and that's the main thing. Um, the best, you want a motivation? The best motivation is to just start doing stuff just move and get into some kind of activity that you enjoy. Maybe you don't enjoy it 24 seven. Yesterday I was not digging doing a workout, was not, did it anyways, feel great about it. I mean, I still was like, oh, I could have been doing so many other things, but you know what? I did the workout. I know that it's good for me. I put a deposit into my own house bank. And so every day is not rainbows and butterflies. But that's life. Life is not supposed to be all rainbows and butterflies. If it was, we would never appreciate the rainbows and butterflies. So, hit me up because I legit have a personal group starting. It's off all the social media things. It's, it's our own personal online group. And it's going to be starting December 20th. I look at my calendar over there because I didn't want to quote the wrong day. December 20th. It's four weeks, yep, right before Christmas. You know why? Because it is a very challenging time. And all I'm asking is that you put aside 20 minutes to do a workout. And then give yourself like a five minute window on both sides. Five minutes to get ready, five minutes to like, you know, whatever else. And I guarantee you, you have 20, 30 minutes a freaking day to do that because we all spend more time on social media than that. And you can definitely take 20 minutes for yourself. I guarantee you. It's a four-week program, five days a week. And we've got tips and tricks on nutrition, 
there's recipes that you can try out, there's all sorts of different meal plans, we've got vegan, vegetarian, gluten free, you know what, there's no excuses. You get access to 30 days of um, Shakeology and, um, and I'm telling you right now that I challenge you to do a 90 day, a 90 day challenge of Shakeology and doing workouts because Sure, 21 days, you can start forming that habit, but you're not really gonna start really starting to feel those benefits until you've, you've actually gotten into that habit. And it's a lifestyle. You can't be just like, oh, I'm just gonna do this for a little bit, I'm gonna hit this goal, and ta-da, ta done. Just like I've said before, a sculptor, you know, it's not like when a sculptor sculpts, you know, this beautiful sculpture, and then once the work is done, you just can sit back and enjoy. That is not our bodies, remember? constantly rebuilding every seven to ten years a whole new human so in one generation imagine where you could be in seven to ten years from now health physical mental spiritual wise if you started today if you started today oh my god that sounds so daunting seven to ten oh my freaking god how will you ever get anywhere if you don't start that's what i'm saying so i have my profile where you can go in. I am not a big social media person and I'm not, uh, I probably could use like a expert to handle all that stuff. So pardon me if it seems a little meh, but on there you can get access to all sorts of information. But hit me up because before you go and you do anything crazy like trying to order something i want to make sure that you're getting what you need for you and what works best for you that you're not taking more than you need or missing out on something that would might work better so that is what i'm here for because i've been doing this i've been an avid customer since 2012 so i am all about all the things i've done most of them and um i'm here to help maybe skip a few of those hurdles that I ran through back in my day. So check out the link below and hit me up. Later.